Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over my favorite set in all of Madden 21. As you guys know, every time there's a new master set, it's going to be my favorite thing to do. Now, of course, it does depend on the promo, of course, and it also depends on pretty much what the player is but for the most part it's typically going to be a worthwhile set to do if you guys have been following me long enough you guys know what i'm about to do but before we head into this video and go over the math on it make sure down below join the poodle squad to join the poodle squad all i gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and of course turn on that noti bell now for today's poodle squad shout out we got k a that is the guy's name shout out to me for being part of the poodle squad i greatly appreciate you for showing show and support on each and every video thank you so much now, guys, if you need coins, pick up anything, pick up the guys in these sets, uh, new legends, head on over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle, take advantage of the Harvest and Blitz discounts. Use code Poodle, 15% off. But yeah, let's head on to this, guys. So let's go over to the set. You guys should already know the deal of what we're doing here. So going over to Autumn Blast, going over to Master Night Train Lane. So exchange 92 overall, Aaron Jones, Austin Hooper, Daniel Hunter, and Von Miller for 94 overall Night Train Lane. You also get Night Train Lane's power-up item and that versions of all four 92 overall Autumn Aces. So that's great. Of course, that's going to be a very great option. Now, that means you get Aaron Jones, Austin Hooper, Daniel Hunter, and Von Miller back for the set. So that's good. You get four players for the for one, right? So here's what we're going to do. First, you want to focus on the new solos, guys. Remember, there are new solos that are co-op and solo. Now, here's the thing. If you do the co-op ones, only co-op, it takes six days. If you do only solos, it takes six days. If you do half and half, you should be done by, I believe, tomorrow or even today. So let's head on over to the new solos and show you guys. So Autumn Odyssey, this is one of them. Now, remember, Burnt Turkey. There's a bunch of these solos to be playing. So first off, make sure you're playing all your solos, disregarding all that. Just make sure you're playing them to get it done. But Madden the Gathering is going to be the call point you want to focus on here. So make sure you are playing these. When you play, you have to invite a friend. So when you start, you got to click on like him, him, let's just say, and you invite a friend to play this with you. And you want to get these done. Now, once you get all these done, you will be getting, of course, pieces and stuff to play while... Uh, to go ahead and get your free player. So make sure you play to the end also because you do get fallen leaves. But make sure you're getting that done. You earn uh, food collectibles and then go ahead and do the uh, the regular ones as well. And when you take all those guys, you are able to go ahead and get your free player. Now you're going to want to take your food collectibles back to the sets. Go over to Autumn Blast. Once you're here, you want to take the free player you got. Now I'm, I forget if you could pick or not, but if you can pick, which I'm pretty sure you can, um, go with the most expensive one. Now the thing is here when you look at these, they're all very similar pricing. So I guess it depends on the moment you do, but as you can see, they all go for relatively the same thing. 160 and then 166. I mean, I guess Austin Hooper's technically the most expensive so far. The new Hunter is going to be 160. So so far they're all the same, just about. And then Von Miller is going to be 162. So far, Austin Hooper's the most expensive. So I guess take who you think is gonna be the most profitable for you, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess take Austin Hooper, but again, always check when you do this. So once you do that, guys, so remember, Nitro Lane goes for 350k. So in our math equation, we have to subtract about 30k for the reduction, of course. That leaves us about 320. So here's the thing. They all go for 160 now. Here's here's my personal math. Don't buy them at 160. I promise if you sit on there for like five minutes of play, you'll get them off for like 150, 145. So let's go with 150 because, of course, that's like a fair price. So you can get them off for about 150 times that by four. That's 600k, but remember, you got one for free, so actually, subtract one of the 150k's out of there. So you're looking at 450k to do this set. So let's get into method one, which is, of course, my favorite method of always. So your 450k costs you the set. Now, when you buy, when you do the set, you're going to end up with Aaron Jones, Austin Hooper, Daniel Hunter, Von Miller, and Nitro Lane. So this is for teams that just, like, let's say you're, like, a 90 overall or an 88. Like, you're a good team, but you're not a god squad. Like, you could, you need pieces. Like, all these guys would be starters, let's just say, or most of them. So you take this, you take the 450k. Do the set, and now you end up with all these players. You go sell Nitro Lane on the auction block for 350k. You get back around 320. So you subtract 320k, and you're looking at 130k. So it costs you 130k to do the set, and you get Aaron Jones, Austin Hooper, Daniel Hunter, and Von Miller back pretty much for free, right? Now, technically, only one every player costs 150. So if it costs you 130 to get four players, you pretty much paid for one and got three for free. So I see this as three free 92 overalls, right? So this is good for, let's say, like, always do method number one if you want one of these players. Let's say you're like, okay, so I don't like, I don't really care for Jones or Hooper too much, but I'm definitely going to buy Von Miller. Do the set. You actually save 20k on Von Miller, and you additionally go ahead and get Hunter, Hooper, and Aaron Jones. So you get three players for free on top of that. Now, this is the method I usually do because it's just, like, fill my team. And again, if you're even if you're a God Squad, guys, again, you can start Von Miller, put these guys as backups, and toss times two chems on them, right? Great. To get your max lockdown or you know your max uh, go deep whatever you want to use max zone run 
So that's good. Now, method number one is typically my favorite method because that's the most practical method for me. Now, method number two could be a little bit more expensive, but method number two is typically the other one I go with. I don't go with the first one. This is where you keep everything and you take you get rid of what you don't need per se. But for me, I typically just keep everything. So let's say again, you do it again. It costs you 450k to do. But let's say I like to do this method. If I'm gonna buy, if I'm getting the master anyways, I might as well do this method, right? So let's say you're gonna buy that. You're gonna buy Nitro Lane regardless for 350. Why not uptrade, upcharge an additional 120k and get all those players for free? So like, I'm looking at my team. I'm like, you know, I don't need the new Hunter, but I'd use him. I don't need Von Miller, but I kind, I kind of want him. And then Aaron Jones would be a decent backup, and Austin Cooper would be a decent second tight end. So for an additional 100k, it's kind of like when you go to checkout and like, oh, you know, it's um, you bought two, but it's like buy three get one free. So you're kind of like, oh, I'll spend an additional five bucks, but. I get another one for free. It's worth in the long term. That's kind of how I see this. So I like method two a lot. So like I said, I typically go method one or two. Method one is like when I don't like the mask, like Tony Romo, right? Tony Romo is method number one where I don't think I'm going to use him and I don't want a quarterback. So I'll sell him. I'll keep the lower pieces for a lot cheaper. Now, method number two is kind of where like Nitro Lane. Okay, I'm keep. I want Nitro Lane regardless. Might as well upcharge it. Now, let's just say you're a God Squad, right? You can only start Nitro Lane. You don't care for Aaron Jones, Hooper, Hunter, Von Miller. You won't start them. You don't need backups. Then in that case, you go to method number three. Method number three is where you do the set. Let's say because you have one free already. You do the set and you get uh, Nitro Lane. Then you go ahead and you try to quick sell them all. And you take all those fallen leaves and try to go convert them. Now, again, this is a riskier method. And here's the return could be you lose some coins. It could be you make some. It could be you gain some. It really just depends on your luck and kind of the way the cookie, cr uh, cookie crumbles. But they have limited this. In years past, you were able to do so much with this, like last year. But... This year, they made it so like the value you get back is so low, it's almost like not worth it to do that one. Now, if you feel lucky and you want to employ that method, you can. If I had to rank them, I'd go method number two is my most likely one, right? Because masks are typically good. Method number one is my most likely one. If I don't like the master, that's where you just sell the master and keep them. Now, for you guys, in terms of method number one, which is the one where you sell the master to keep the players, that's best for a team that's not a god squad. Like, you're a good team and you need depth, you need players, you need to just fill your team, right? Like, you're a budget, you're like a no money spent guy that, like, Spends a month grinding, buys two cards. Spend a month grinding, buys two cards. It's very hard for you to build, like, build out a team. You get this. You stack out like four positions at one time. You increase your overall. And you do all of that in just mere seconds. That's what I value as number one. Method number two is more for like a god squad, right? So like, I don't have a god squad, but when I typically that's the mindset I usually keep is like, oh, like I have the coins to get one, so like I don't want to just get things you know I don't need, but. For me, even myself, I feel like this is great for backups. I typically don't buy backups, so like I can have all these back. Like I can start Bob Miller for now. Start Hunter, second uh, tight end for Austin Hooper, and then second running back for Jones. And there we go. I have all these chems, all these players, and I want an extra lane anyways. And if I worst case scenario, I sell them all, I quick sell them back, and there you go. I have my stuff back. I really don't see this bad. And the method number three, like I said, you can quick sell all these. And what I mean by converting them is you'd get like half or a quarter value of fallen leaves. You take it over to the store, and when you get to the store, you're gonna want to go ahead and go to Autumn Blast and see like maybe you do um you do all 85 plus packs, or you try to save up for a cornucopia pack, or you try to save up for an Autumn Ace. Or maybe you put it towards a cornucopia, right? And then you add the extra and then like, so let's say, let's say you get back 2,000 fallen leaves from that or 3,000, whatever. And then you need an extra thousand. You buy the extra thousand for 30 to 40 K, whatever it is. And you buy the cornucopia. And again, maybe if you hit, if you hit big on this, it's worth it. If you don't, you lost. But again, it's a chance you're taking. So I would definitely go ahead and try that method. If you are a gambler, you can do all 80 pluses. It really comes down to what you prefer to do. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Like I said, if I had to rank them, I would do, for most people, for the general consensus, I would do part one just because, you know, you want to keep the coins. Uh, for the people with coins that also want the players, want to stack out their team, part two, method two, I should say. And method three is for those gamblers that want the player, want night training, but also want to have a little fun with some leaves. You can try that as well. But guys, that's it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Come join the Poodle Squad. Like, comment, and turn on that noti bell. If you haven't already, head over to my reserve, pick up some coins. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.